Are you worried about your video files taking up too much space? Don't worry, I have a solution for you. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to compress large videos into smaller files while maintaining quality. So, let's get started. Let's start by checking the size of the original video. As you can see, it is 275 megabytes. Let's play it to verify its quality. To compress the video, we're going to use a free software called Handbrake. Open your browser, and go to google.com. Type Handbrake Download in the search bar, then click on the first link. Handbrake is available for both Mac and Windows. I'll download the Windows version, but choose the one that matches your operating system. Handbrake is an open source program, and the best part is that it's free. Once downloaded, open the file to start the installation. Since I already have Handbrake installed, I'll reinstall it to guide you through the process. After installing Handbrake, open the application. Drag and drop the video file you want to compress into Handbrake. Now let's configure the settings to compress the video. First of all, in the summary tab, we need to select the format type to MP4, then select the web optimized option. Go to the dimensions tab. Select the resolutions limit to 1080 pixels. In the Filters tab, we will keep the filters settings as default. Go to the Video tab. Set the video encoder to H.264. Adjust the frame rate to match your video's frame rate. Also select the Constant Frame Rate option. On the right side of the screen, you'll find the Quality Slider. When you hover over the slider with your mouse, you'll see that the suggested values are 18 to 20 for standard definition sources, and 20 to 23 for high definition sources. If you move the slider to the right, your video size will increase. Conversely, if you move the slider to the left, your video size will decrease. However, I am going to set it to 22. We don't need to change anything in the audio, subtitles, and chapters tabs. Once you've configured the settings, click on Browse to choose where to save the compressed video. You must rename the video, otherwise, it will overwrite the original video. Finally, click on Start Encode button. The compression process will take about 5 to 10 minutes, depending on your system's performance and the video's length. Once the encoding is complete, go to the folder where you saved the compressed video. Here's our original video with a size of 275 megabytes, and here's the compressed version, which is now only 43 megabytes. Let's play the compressed video to check its quality. The result looks fantastic. The compressed video retains the quality of the original but is significantly smaller in size. The main purpose of this tutorial is to guide you through compressing videos because this software has helped me a lot in reducing large file sizes. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more tutorials. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching, and good luck.